there. Um, <clears throat> so today, on our tutorial, um, I am going to make a coaster. Um, but I'm going to imprint some sprigs into it. So I've got some lavender out of my garden and I've got some rosemary out of my garden. Um, the equipment that we'll need today, we've got a cookie cutter. We've got a little bit of water for if the clay needs rehydrating at any point. Um, we've got my designs here so this is sort of what they're going to look like eventually um, and I've also got a rolling pin okay um, I've got a hundred grams of air dry clay here and I've got a tea towel as you can see um, this is really good for when you're rolling your air dry clay um, because it sticks to the surfaces um, so if you put it in, in between, um, so some tracing paper or um, a, a tea towel, it, it won't stick. Okay, so I'm going to make a round coaster today. So I'm going to give it a little squash down and I'm going to give it a little roll. Um, I am going for the more organic shape today. So I'm not too worried about the thickness. Obviously, it needs to be sturdy enough for me to be able to imprint the sprigs into it. Um, so, the next step, I'm going to get my little cookie cutter, um, which I've done a few little practice runs, as you can see. Um, I'm going to pop that on there, and we're going to press it down. Okay, we need to get rid of all these bits around the edge here. So actually, I'm gonna try, yeah, there you go, look. So I've moved it off the tea towel now and I can quite easily just take those little bits off. Okay, so I'll pop those over there. We don't need those anymore. Right now, I'm gonna press this gently out of the cookie cutter. Wonderful, I'm happy with that. Um, so you can see that there's a bit of texture on this because of the tea towel, because of rolling it under the tea towel. Um, so what I'm going to do is just smooth those details out. So I'm going to start with my lavender and I'm really going to just poke that in, just be quite gentle with this bit because you probably, well, I don't want any fingerprints in it, so just be careful. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pull this away now. You're going to see what we've got under it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very happy with that. Um, and I'm going to pop a little bit of this in as well. So where do I want this? I'll pop it there. So really, again, just try and be careful. Um, poke this into your clay. And up we go, see what we're left with. Gorgeous. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, shall I put something the other side? I think I'm going to use this again. Just going to pop it here so you can see totally gone on a whim here they don't look anything like my designs <laughs> um, but nevertheless I'll be happy with them right so again I'm going to use a little bit of water and any little dimples here and here that you don't like just 
smooth over as much as you can. Wonderful. Now, I know this is only a little coaster, but obviously if you get more clay, you can make as many as you want. You can make whatever shape you want. Um, you don't have to use a cookie cutter. You could use um, a knife and make a nice big tile. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that, actually. Um, so I want to leave it there. You've got 48 hours now. Sorry, I've got 48 hours now um, to wait for it to dry. Um, and then I'm going to paint it up. Um, I'm actually thinking that I might just cover that in white and just, I'm quite happy with the texture of it, so I might just cover that in white, but yeah, 48 hours dry time and I'll be back to paint it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll speak soon I'm sure. Thank you, bye. Mm -hmm.